In the lesson on series, we saw how a series of booleans that had the same labels as the target series could be used to select out parts of that series to create a new series. The values in the boolean series which were true were the ones that were selected from the target series to form the new one. We will see how this same approach can be used to select rows within a pandas data frame. We'll see how this works by doing the process somewhat manually, and we'll start with the small data frame that we created earlier with information about states shown here. If I want to select out particular rows, I need to create a series that has the same label indices as the rows in the data frame. Each row that I want to include in the slice should have a value of true, the ones that I do not want to include should have a value of false. So here is the series that I created. Now if I pass this series of booleans into loc, then it will create the slice including the rows that I want. So here I only got Tennessee, Arizona, and Alaska because those were the items in the series that I gave values of true. It's kind of silly to manually create a series of booleans, but it's much more common to create a series of booleans by evaluating some condition based on the values that are in some column in the data frame. Here's how we do it. Carry out a boolean operation on a column, and there's a number of different kinds of operations that we can do, and that's going to generate a series of boolean values, true or false, that's the same length as the number of table rows. So here's what this looks like. Here we have a table with information about some different kinds of animals. And we ask the question in the organism info column named number of legs, which ones have a number of legs that's greater than five? And that's true for the spider and the bee row. So the generated series contains values of true for those rows where the condition is true and false for the rows where it's not true. If the series corresponding to the row is true, then we include that row. If the series is false, then the row is excluded. Take note that the resulting data frame maintains the same label indices that are in the original data frame. Here is the result. We pass this Boolean condition into loc and it slices out all of the rows for which the condition was true, and it includes them in the slice. Notice that the label indices of the original rows are the same. However, the integer position begins with zero and counts upward. It's not the same position indices as in the original data frame. Let's try this with a very simple example. We'll print out the state's data frame. The condition that we want to select for is whether the text for that state is equal to Alaska. Obviously, this condition will be true for only one row, and that's the Alaska row. If we then take this Boolean vector and pass it into loc, the result only includes the row for Alaska. In most cases, we don't do this in two steps assigning a name to the Boolean value, then passing that named object in. More typically, we just simply place the condition inside loc and use that to generate the slice. Here is a more complicated example. The condition that I'm starting with is that the capital name is equal to Phoenix. However, I'm then applying a negation to say that the condition are capitals that are not equal to Phoenix. I pass that boolean into loc, and I have a list of all the states whose capital is not Phoenix. In other words, all the states other than Arizona. These are kind of silly examples because they're not that useful. Here's a more useful one. In the case of the school's data frame, I might want to select out all of the schools that have a school level equal to middle school. And in this case, all of the results are middle schools, and the other rows are excluded from the slice. In addition to these Boolean operators that we are more used to, there are some special operators that we can use. 
one of the useful ones is is null and not null. These methods select rows that either do or do not have missing data values in them. Here's an example. If we wanted to find high schools, we could look for rows that don't have missing values in the grade 12 column. So here we take the grade 12 column and generate a Boolean for those whose values are not null, and then pass that into the loc command. Now I have only schools that have a grade 12 value. This includes high schools, but it also includes special education schools that have grade 12. So if I specifically wanted only high schools, then it would be better to set the condition where the school level equals high school. The process for slicing columns is very similar to what we saw above. In this example, we're specifying which columns we want to include by explicitly giving this series true or false values. The main difference is that when we apply loc, we have to put in the range with no beginning or ending values, indicating that we want to include all rows. This includes only the text and population columns. Again, this is kind of silly to manually create our Boolean series. It's more common to create a series that involves some kind of Boolean condition. For example, we could ask which columns have a value of Harrisburg in the row Pennsylvania, and that selects only the capital column. If we then use this Boolean series and pass it into loc, then we will slice out only the capital column. 